always considered you kind of like a really influential figure in bringing a new era to skateboarding like post 90s with Baker and uh, Deathwish where it's, um, it's, it's become such an iconic industry. Did you have that in mind when you started these companies? Did you... um, no, I guess, I mean, I appreciate that comment, um, but I think we just, the whole uh, crew as a whole just kind of did its own thing and I guess it um, turned out that way. And then the natural progression of like growing up, you know, kind of like getting a little older, you start a company or it was like we were younger, we started Baker and then started Death Wish, you know, took a couple of the guys because the team was getting so big. And I think it just that the timing and the, the, the whole crew that was around and just kind of, I don't know, doing whatever we wanted. I guess it, it naturally just did that. I mean, I still go to like other countries and stuff and I'll see like Brazil's got a piss trunks crew out there or <laughs> Sweden, I'm sure, has got them from Alley. Yeah. And like, you know, there's all, you know, you see it everywhere. It's, it's really crazy. I see a lot of piss trunks tattoos and see a lot of Death Wish tattoos in the States. Like yeah. a lot of kids have them. It's, it's pretty amazing to see something that you helped create and people are that inspired by it to want to actually get it tattooed on their body forever is, is a pretty cool thing. At first, Death Wish was kind of a shocking name, you know, like people, you know, they they were kind of a little, a little skeptical of it. But in the end, once you, it doesn't really matter what the name is, once you associate it with the people and the stuff and the graphics and everything, it just becomes a name. Are there any favorite parts you like in the, of all the videos you've had in the last few years, do you think? Is there a particular part that's your favorite, you think is most inspirational, that, well, that really says what you want it to say about the actual, about the, the company? I guess um, if all the parts or things that I've had in videos and stuff, I would probably have to say like misled youth yeah. was, was probably my favorite, just because of the time of everything. And it was like, I had put out that kind of half-assed part in the first Zero video, like the first one that it did, that we did. But the misled youth one was like a little, it had something special for me because like I was kind of on the verge of at first when the when we started filming being kicked off zero. So I was on the verge of being kicked off because I wasn't really doing anything. And then the timing of it, it was like I was amateur and I was new to being in California and all that. And I didn't really know where my life was gonna go, you know? So when that part came out, I turned pro after that got on a good shoe company and it kind of kick-started everything of where I'm at today. I think the part that is going to be my favorite will be the new Death Wish part because I've worked probably the hardest for that. And it's like, I feel like at my age, for me to put out a part that I'm pretty proud of is going to be something for me that I'm going to be like pretty stoked on. One thing that consistently bums you out, or and, and consistently stokes you out as well. Well, one thing that's kind of always bummed me out is deadlines for things. You know, whether it be like deadlines for graphics, deadlines for ads, deadlines for video parts. You know, you want to do things at your own pace. So sometimes a deadline can be the same. It can be rewarding when you get something done in time, and you're like, you know, you put the pressure on yourself and you've made that happen. But then on the flip side of that, it can get you really down when you don't make that deadline. But then the thing that consistently like makes me happy is like going to like signings or demos and stuff like that and seeing the like reaction that people have to what you've done, you know, so like that's always nice, you know. Do you have any advice for like, uh, as a final question, any advice like up and coming skaters who uh... I guess just, it's kind of a cliche answer, but it's yeah, like just keep doing, <laughs> yeah, keep doing what you love and, and good things will come out of that. Right. You know, whether it's like, you know, skating and you try really hard and something happens and it works and you can, you know, like you could take that and you can be creative as well with that and you can design graphics, you can get into like shoe design, you can start your own company. And, you know, I never thought that I'd be in the position where I am right now where I can provide like, you know, um, a life for a family through what I love to do. I, I love every bit of it. This is Eric Ellington. Uh, you're watching Pitch Slap. Thanks for watching. <laughs>